Let's create a new part. Select New. There are two modes, Novice, which contains Part, Assembly, and Drawing, the three main documents inside of SolidWorks, and Advanced, that will allow you to create and select multiple templates and the templates folders. Select on Advanced. From the Templates tab, double-click on Part. A new part opens. If the origin is not displayed in the center of the graphics window, select View and click Origins. The origin is the intersection of the front plane, the top plane, and the right plane. It is represented by a point. Let's review the SolidWorks application. Along the top are the pull-down menus, File, Edit, View, Insert, Tools, and the applications you have loaded. In my case, I have Routing and PhotoView 360. Your applications can be found in the Office Products tab. Applications may also be selected by selecting Options and Add-ins. The add-ins list all the products that are installed. In the SolidWorks Education Edition, you have SolidWorks Motion, SolidWorks Simulation, Finite Element Analysis Tools, and SolidWorks Flow Simulation. You also have SolidWorks Sustainability. Inside of SolidWorks Premium are CircuitWorks, FeatureWorks, PhotoView 360, and a host of other applications. It's a good idea when starting SolidWorks to only have the options selected that you will use. I will uncheck SolidWorks Routing and use it later. Click OK. The tabs along the bottom of the main menu allow you to select on different toolbars. The most common toolbars we will use are Features and Sketch. Features are three-dimensional entities that add or remove geometry. Sketches are two-dimensional geometry that are usually used to create the profiles of our features. Along the left-hand side is our Feature Manager design tree. The part name is located at the top. Folders such as sensors, annotations are located below. Materials allows us to add specific materials from a database. By right-clicking on the material, some predefined materials already exist. Then is displayed the front, top, and right plane, along with the origin. At the center of the graphics window is the Heads Up View toolbar. Here you'll see shortcuts to zoom, to zoom in previous views, to create a section view, and to look at view orientation of your model from the front, top, and right views, along with isometric. Also is rendering characteristics from the view menu, whether or not you want to display with photorealistic rendering, shaded, wireframe, hidden lines removed. The options are right in the center. Also comes the most common use commands, the rendering tools and texture tools and scenery, and whether or not you display real view graphics with shadows or perspective views. On the right hand side is the SolidWorks resources, where there is the SolidWorks resource pane, design library, file explorer, and more information on drawings, rendering, and custom properties that we will review later. For now, I will select on SolidWorks Resources. In the right-hand screen is the tip of the day. The tip of the day changes for every day. In the lower left-hand corner is the trigram that indicates the view perspective that you can minimize and maximize areas of your graphics window. Sometimes students will take the command manager and move it from side to side. To reposition and dock your command manager, just select on it and then select the arrow locator. To select menus from the graphics window, right-click in the gray area to the right of the command manager. All the different types of menus and toolbars will appear. For example, I can select the View toolbar, and the toolbar can be moved by clicking and dragging with 
the mouse pointer. Dock toolbars at any place in the graphics window, to the left side, top, or right. Don't want a menu displayed, just press the X or close button. You can obtain help in SOLIDWORKS at any time. Select on the Help pull-down. Select SOLIDWORKS Help. Enter a topic in the search bar, such as Rectangle. Help will display different commands in regard to rectangles. There is a description on how to draw, and there's also a video that shows how to use the rectangle sketched at the origin. Inside of the Help menu is also SOLIDWORKS tutorials. In addition to this text, there are hundreds of tutorials inside of SOLIDWORKS and SOLIDWORKS Simulation. Other lessons can be done in any order.